Okay, we've got another computer-related video for you today. Uh, today we're going to discuss the best uh, malware uh, removal program. Um, malware it re it removes most viruses, uh, spyware, and, and whatnot. Uh, the best product I have found is this uh, Malwarebytes. So it's www.malwarebytes.org. And what you want to do is you'll download the program, the latest release, which is 141, and you've got the option of a purchase version or a, a, a free version. And the free version is not a trial, it's a permanent version. The main difference is the full version will give you automatic updates, it'll automatically be running in the background and whatnot. The free version, it's a manual deal. You have to manually update it. You still get the updates, you have to manually do them, and you have to manually scan. So once you've got that downloaded, you go to your desktop, there'll be an icon. This does work for XP, Home, Pro, Vista, Business Pro, uh, all the different Vista, 64-bit, which is what I'm running, um, works for all of them. So you will always start on this screen that's coming up here. Uh, the scanner screen. You can do a quick scan or a full scan. Uh, if you've never ran the product, I would recommend the full scan. It's full scan. First time, it's very long. Uh, it can be. It depends on the size of your hard drive. Um, but I would definitely run the full scan the first time. After that, just do the quick scans. And you've got different tabs. Protection, that's only if you've purchased the product. Here's where you update. You can see I do not have the latest update, 1.40. Quarantine, this is where your viruses will be found. Uh, if they're in there, they'll be in red and delete them all, blah, blah, blah. And then you've got logs. This is just uh, when you've ran it. See, I don't really run it too often. Um, not even once a month. Ignore list. If there's a program that's coming up as malware and it's actually not, put it in here. And then you've got the settings right here. More tools. Um, this is bug reporting. I don't really use that. And then obviously about. So... Once you get done performing your full scan, you will want to restart your computer and start and, and run it again in safe mode. So you restart your computer before the Windows screen comes up. You hit uh, F8. Uh, you might have to hit it a couple times. Depends on the computer. But definitely hit it before it starts. So do a complete restart. Black screen comes up. Hit F8. And then start safe mode with networking. Um, you don't have to do networking if you have the latest and greatest uh, um, update. But if you've got a virus and you cannot do anything, some viruses will not allow you to run programs like the malware bytes. Start in safe mode, it'll allow you to run it there. Once you run it in safe mode, then you can delete the virus in safe mode and then go back and run a full scan also in uh, regular Windows. So do keep that in mind. So if you've got a serious virus, run start in safe mode, F8, and uh, run the malware bytes there. Uh, this program, I just cannot say enough good about it. I searched and searched and searched, and uh, a couple years ago, eh, maybe a year and a half ago, I came across this, and it by far, it's, I can't remember one instance I've had where it has not been able to remove all the spyware and everything from a PC. Usually, I before, I would use, you know, SpyBot if the customer did not have any kind of uh, virus protection uh, what have you. I'd use different programs and most of the time it just, you know, it would come back within two minutes. This so far has been just, that's been awesome. Um, so definitely worth taking a look at. It's totally free. And once you scan, we'll do a little scan here. It just says object scan, object infected, and, you know, tells you what files it's currently going through. We're going to abort. Yes, I want to abort. So there you have it. And then also uh, actually gives you a notepad of everything you've done. And that will be in your, your log list. So go to your logs. You can see right there is where I just ran it. You can actually click on the log. Um, I may have had a virus somewhere in here. Let's see here. Nope, none there. Um, yeah, registry data in fact, items infected one. And that tells you where it was infected. Um, right there. So you can go back and look at all your logs and see what there was one that had nothing on it. Um, and these are quick scans, you can tell, three minutes. And just keep on going down the list. There, there was one there. Actually, the same one I had before. So 
works really well. I mean, I mean, I am also running some antivirus. You do not want to rely just on this, but this, if you've got a system that's just flat out, just bookered up, take a look at this. And uh, please feel free to email me or PM me with uh, questions and comments, and I'll try to answer them as best I can. Thanks for watching.